Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm. Wow, I'll tell you what, guys. I woke up this morning. I was thinking, man alive, how fast time flies. I mean, here we are. It's December 1st, and literally three weeks from now, Christmas is going to be here. And I'll tell you, boy, that's scary enough. But to think that 2023 is going to be over just like that is something else. It just feels like, boof, it just went by so fast. And I'll tell you guys, I think 2024 is going to be a banger year, especially for this space here, to be sure. And hey, on top of that, it is Friday. And I sure hope you had an amazing week. And you're going to have a fantastic Friday and Saturday and Sunday. You get out there and you really get some great time, quality time with your family and friends. Because that's what weekends are for. That's at least how I believe. And remember, guys, we do have our Saturday question and answer. And, of course, sugar on Sunday. Great nuggets of encouragement coming out. I tell you, it would be well worth it to me, sir, I think. Mm. Guys, article I was reading today. This one's, of course, talking about a lot of these EV vehicles coming out of California and all this kind of stuff. And get this, EV vehicles have 80% more problems statistically than absolutely combustion engine cars. Now, this is a big deal because, look, I've got a lot of family out there that love these EV vehicles. You know, even our kids, you know, a couple of them have these EV vehicles, you know, Teslas and whatever else. And they really enjoy it. Now, they're out there in California. Now, I almost have to laugh because, of course, California wants everybody on electric vehicles, you know, at, I think by 2030. And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? Do you realize how much power these EV vehicles take to charge? You go to one of these fast charging stations, literally, you're talking about the same consumption of electric power that it would take to run about 10 or 20 homes. And I think it's even more than that for the same amount of time now what's really amazing is a lot of these stations that they have you know all posted at different spots where you can go and you know fast charge your car and fast charge is like 20 to 30 minutes and the lineups are ridiculous but needless to say do you know what powers those diesel generators that is absolutely insane that is what's the powering at least on this one video that i was watching the guy said listen to this and here you could hear that diesel generator pumping away in the background well, to, you know, help to supply power to all of these fast, you know, charging power stations. So, and, and in respect of that, respect of that, you know, for all these EV vehicles, the power consumption to create the batteries and everything else that goes into these vehicles is absolutely obscene. And truly, it, you wonder, are they really actually solving a problem or creating another one? And now you got these, you know, stats coming out that it, they are 80% like more likely to break down and to have real problems than your combustion cars do. That says a lot. Wow. I mean, I know they want us to move us into a more efficient means, but the way in which they're trying to put it out there, I, I'm telling you, the products have to really, really super improve before they're really going to get the big uptick. I genuinely believe that. Unless, of course, they do what they love to do. Legislate it, you know, make it so that your combustion engines, you know, you can't have them or this, that, or whatever. But it's not an improvement on, you know, the the... The means of technology and and furthermore for transportation you can't go as far absolutely no way as you can with a tank of gas at least that's my estimation and guys i really don't think i think we'll definitely see a lot more ev vehicles on the road that's for sure agree with that but i don't think we're going to see as quick a transition as they want unless of course they literally stuff it down our throats but i don't think you know, people will absolutely acquiesce the consumer to come into those products until they get the convenience that they are getting out of their combustion engine vehicles. That's for sure. With respect to the speeds, the loads, the this, the that, the distance you can drive without having to refill your tanks or charge yourself back up and on and on and on. And so that's where I think, you know, there'll be some pushback. But of course, hey, that's what your 15-minute cities are for, aren't they? You know, so you don't have to travel too far. So your, you know, your vehicles only have to go so far and on and on and on. It's really crazy, I'll tell you. <laughs> mm. Now, I'll give you my personal experience. So my kid, he's living in Tucson, Arizona, and his father-in-law loaned him one of these leaf 
vehicles and, and those of you that know the EV vehicle because you have this Leaf vehicle. Well, the distance that that thing could travel was maybe what, like 80 miles before it was totally out of a charge. Well, he was taking us from where he lives out to the Tucson airport. By the time we got there on a full charge, that thing had dropped way, way down below 50%. And I thought, my goodness, if it took more than 50% of the charge to get us to the airport, how's my kid going to get back home? And he had his two little ones in the back seat and their car seats and that. And I said, son, call us and let us know you made it home. When he made it home, he literally only had 2% charge left in the car. Now, that was a first-generation model, but I'll tell you, that's the kind of deal. Do you think people are going to want to have that kind of you know inconvenience to have to deal with? Only could go like 80 miles? I mean, come on, some people are commuting to work and it's more than 30 40 miles just to get to work and so are they going to be oh my goodness am i going to get myself back home and especially if there are no charging stations at, at work and how many people are going to be plugging in at the same time that's the deal. Do you think the California grid can really take that amount of power consumption, everybody plugging in their cars overnight? Not on your life. I mean, right now they have a hard time with just maintaining the AC units in homes. Come on, guys. It's truly, truly ridiculous. And until they improve the technology, I don't think we're going to get the uptick, at least on a voluntary basis, than what they really think. But those hey, those are my thoughts. Now, guys, I've had someone come out and, on the comments and he was saying something back. Oh, well, you know, I thought this was a crazy crypto channel well it is but hey we have coffee chat in the morning which is really about just current events and various articles that come out that do affect our lives and sometimes hey we're dealing mostly with the economy and you know capacity of this or that or whatever and xrp but in the evening is when we have our main xrp you know dialogue to be sure and then of course on saturday we're dealing with our question and answers that we see in the comments during the week and i go through those by the way if you see a thumbs up and a heart that's because judy and i took the time to literally read every single comment we read them now guys it is almost nigh on impossible for us to sit down and reply to every comment let's be honest we just be spending our whole day doing that and we can't do that but every now and then we're going to go in and we're going to drop a reply and usually if it's something that tweaks our interest in this that just like it would be with you guys to make a comment you know if it tweaks your interest you make a comment well if our comment tweaks our interest then we reply but we do definitely read each and every one of them to be sure and so we have our Saturday question and answer. And that's where the questions come from is out of the comments. And then on Sunday, of course, hey, if you're into it and you like it, we go out there and we open up the word of God and we share some nuggets of real truth. Because I'll tell you what, when Judy and I ventured into this space, we bathed it in absolute prayer. And genuinely, we give all the glory and credit to God for what he did in our lives and turning us onto this space, the way in which he did and when he did, because it transformed our lives big time. Anyway, that threw that I thought I'd throw that out there. Well, guys, until later on today, I sure hope you have an amazing Friday and we have a great video for you. And until then, guys, have a great one and take care.